Hey guys, one of my hands escaped today, got out of the run, so I'm going to have to take care of that today. I'm just going to have to trim her wings and so that she can't get the lift that she needs to get over the, the four foot fence. So just going to have to do that and I'm going to give you guys an update about how they're sleeping at night and how the, how the little chicks are doing. So come along and let's see what's going on. So it looks like we got Emma being a bad girl. She is outside. So, unfortunately, she's being a bad girl, and unfortunately, she gets her wings clipped. Because this is the second time she's gotten out. And I can't have her running through the neighborhood like that. So, so she might be jumping up on top of this and then getting out. I don't know yet. But she is not being a very good girl. These girls are getting big now. Look at them. Yep, hello. Yeah, they're getting big. Getting big. two girls telling me about. It's hot today, I know. It's really hot. What are you eating out here, huh? Yeah. You guys getting the grass outside here? All right. Yeah, they've acclimated really well, my hens, with these young ones, the young chicks, and I'm thinking this weekend I'm gonna try to let them out and see what happens. They're fully feathered now, pushing almost six weeks now, so. And um, getting big enough where I don't think they can fit through the fence here. So, I am gonna let them out this weekend. So these um, fly catchers have been working well. Um, saw another person's channel, and they had actually put them down kinda low which makes sense because obviously look at all the flies down there but also look at how many it's been a week there are tons in there both of them are catching tons of flies so which is a good thing but there's still more down here on the ground so yeah I always clean this stuff up, make sure it's not doesn't stay in here too long. Um, says it doesn't try to draw too many flies. I got a little piece over there, but but yeah, that's um, hundreds of them that are not obviously not bothering my um, chickens. So so I got three eggs today, which is good. I'm getting that pretty consistently now. For my three uh, girls right here, my three red stars. So, we got Whitney girl right there. And we got Mary. And this is Martha right here in the middle. So, um, and they are becoming very dominant here. And um, they start shooing off even the queen sometimes. Um, I was surprised. Because, uh, Four or five weeks ago, she was the most dominant. But now these three, these three, are three red stars, and I think that this breed definitely has some Rhode Island in it. I think that's where they get that color, but not 100% sure. But say hi, Queen. Say hi. But I'm looking forward to my Moran laying soon. And, um, I'm gonna have to cut some wings tonight, unfortunately. Hate doing that, but sometimes you just have to when and she go look at her drinking so much. She's probably been out there for hours. The whole time she could fly in. But just been out there. I don't know how long she's been out there, so. And I feel bad for her. Um but I don't know what she sees out there. But um I know she's thirsty. She's been out there probably a couple hours. 
my neighbor said she was walking around the fence, and I was like, oh, well, let me go see what's going on. So I had to shoo her back in. So, you silly girl, you silly. You're going to get your feathers cut tonight. Yes, you are. You don't get a choice. I'm sorry, you don't get a choice anymore. You made your choice twice now. So, all right. Well, we'll see you later. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And look how big they're getting now. Look how big they're getting. I think I've gotten names for them all now. Yeah. I think I'm going to call... They're not the most original names, but... <laughs> I think I'm going to call the white one. She's my leghorn. I think I'm going to call her... Snow, like for Snow White. I think the gray one might just call gray. And, um... This one right here, I'm going to call Misty. And the little brown one, the ISA over there, I think I'm going to call her Ruth. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So... Yeah, they're getting... They're growing up. The girls are growing up. There's Misty coming out. Saying hi. You can tell a couple of them... The gray one and the brown one, or the, um... The gray one and the other one, it's kind of grayish. I think they're a week behind. So, what are you doing there? You want to go in again and say hi? You want to go in and say hi? Oh, there we go. See, they're kind of doing okay together. Or not. Oh, we got close. All right, be careful. Well, that's just a little peck. That's to be expected. That's going to happen when I let him out on the weekend. But she didn't go after him, which was good. So they'll be able to get pecked and then um, just kind of move on. So we shall see. Yeah, there's the queen, Queen Esther. They, um, the chicks learn quickly. So, all right, um, Whitney girl, what are you doing? Hmm? What you doing? There's Gray. She wants to come over and say hi. Yeah. What are you doing, Queen? Hmm? Why are you always walking away from me? Come over and say hi. I put a little fly catcher in here. It didn't work really well. I wasted ten bucks on that. I won't buy that again. So, um, I'm letting them come in just to kind of see what they're gonna do with each other. And they're the big hens are kind of leaving them alone, which is what I had hoped. So, I'm gonna give it a couple more days. Um, today is. Uh, Tuesday, so Saturday I'm going to kind of integrate them. See, they're not pecking each other. They're just kind of looking at each other, so I think they're ready, but now they've seen each other for well over two weeks now, which should be enough. So, um, and they'll peck them off like that. That's fine. That's normal. Not even worried about that. But, um, so I'm going to get these girls out of here. Let the little girls do their thing for tonight. And then, um... So cool. Well, that's good. That's exciting. I'm going to try to get in there and get, um... Emma so I can clip her wings.
Okay. I'm going to have to do that tonight. As I suspected. Oh yeah. I'm going to get you tonight, girl. I'm going to get you. Get those wings off of you. Not all the wings, just some of it. <laughs> so sometimes if I just sit here, they'll come over to me and I can um, catch them. So let's see what we get here. Probably a little stirred up today because I've been chasing after them for a while. So, yeah, that's all right. I just have to get uh, Emma later tonight when it's a little darker. And there's... I'm sure you guys have seen uh, wings clip before on hens. Um, you do have to be careful, but you can feel along them, and it feels like a natural spot to cut them. Um, cut about four or five inches off, and um, they should be fine. It has been really warm here in Maryland the last couple uh, days, so really warm. I see her underneath the uh, coop there, so <laughs> hiding from me. But I was encouraged seeing the um, two hens inside the little cage here with the chicks they uh, did real good yeah did real good so and about four days I'm gonna let them out and let them be a part of the, the big run so I'm encouraged by that I really do want to get Emma and clip those wings but don't tell her I said that I'm gonna try that again one in there. I'm gonna shut the door this time. Gotta get these eggs out of my pocket. Shut the door. Let's see if I can catch her this time. should have locked the door, on it. Ah, Philly. Ah, I should have locked the door. I had her. Yeah, I tried to lock the door this time. Shouldn't be able to get out now. I got her. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Oh. We got her. She's going to have to get those wings clipped. Unfortunately. So. Unfortunately. eggs yeah so just gonna have to get those wings clipped unfortunately yeah see there's the half there's this half Sorry, girl. You keep jumping the fence. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, but you keep jumping the fence. Yeah. You know, I love you, but I can't have you on the other side of the fence. So there you go. Got, the, got those wings clipped. Hopefully she'll stay in the, in the run this time. Barely tell. I'm just a little stunned now since I, but you can barely tell. I clipped her, but it should be harder for her now to get some elevation. Sorry, Emma. Sorry. Yeah, now that her wings are clipped, it should be a little harder for her to get some elevation. Um, and be able to get over that fence. All right, Whitney? You gotta tell her. You gotta. Queen, you're not keeping her in line. I scratched up my arm a little bit. I have to go take care of that. Yep. Yeah. I'll take care of that. Okay, well, we got that chore done. Whew. I may have to put some water on the outside here just in case they do get out because it's been real hot I'll have to remember to do that but there you go there it is all the feathers so yep pretty feathers well nope, had to be done so it's not quite dark yet but as you can see, my girls have already moved up into their um, the roost area. So, yeah, they've uh, found this out and seem to be doing well. I'm hoping that that will hold 10 hens. We'll see. Might be a little tight, but um, during the winter it'll be nice for them. So. So they're in there. Looks like Queen Esther, she's out on, on the end there, but that's not going to be there for her when I start putting the siding on. So, But as you can hear, we have a lot of locusts this year. I'm seeing them all over the place. So, But there they are. So they just come in on their own. Um, this if you can see the little blue light starts blanking for about 20 minutes and that'll close and you can adjust this so right now they've kind of already gone in and um, but my door hasn't closed yet so and the little girls they kind of they kind of sleep in this little corner here that's where they kind of have been sleeping. I'm hoping next week to let them out and then to see if they'll join the big hens up into the um, the roost there, so up in the coop. So, but right now, that's where they are, just kind of sitting there. Yep, just kind of sitting there. bugs out tonight but they just kind of stay there for warmth but it's really warm uh, this week so really warm so so that's what they kind of do at night they just go and they lay and they find this little corner here that they like they feel safe there and um, and my girls the big girls they they're up here. Yeah, so they just kind of do their thing up on the roost there. Yeah. I thought you guys might want to see them at night. And uh, let's go around the other side and see what they you see their faces. There's Queen Esther. I don't know what she's doing, but yeah. There's Martha. There's Mary. Oh no, that's my Whitney girl. 
This is Mary, Martha, and Chien, and, and then I got uh, Emma, and the Queen, so, yeah, my girls. It's been warm today, really warm, so hopefully it'll get cooler in about three days, so, so yeah, that's my girls. Just, they like being perched up in there. And going to bed. So. Good night, girls. Good night.